is up? Tyler here with Raw Aloha. Made it to New York. Two hours of sleep. Took the overnight bus from Richmond. Uh, made it to this beautiful, beautiful farmer's market in Union Square. Check it out. farmer's market is happening. They get a lot of um, produce coming down from upstate New York, New Jersey, and it's the end of the peach season. I got some, some peaches here, some apples, and these indigo cherry tomatoes, which should be awesome. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you all about staying raw while traveling. This diet is so much easier than I think people allow it to be. I've been in many airports and gas stations, grocery stores. There's just so many options nowadays, you know? There's fruit everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I understand there's many places in this country and around the world that are food, food deserts, but I haven't experienced that yet, and especially in New York, it's awesome here. I guess it's mainly because it's the summertime, but really, really delicious fruits everywhere. I think it's really just, you have to make it a priority. And to make it a priority, you have to want it. And to want it enough, you have to have a reason. You have to have your why, as Tani Ra would say. Something I learned from her, which I already kind of knew, but she said it and it made sense. You have to find your why. A lot of people will never find a why to eat fruitarian because they don't think it's for them, they don't think they can, they don't want to. There's a million different reasons people will give themselves. For me, it was just a progression of exploring with diet as it relates to health and wellness. I was struggling with depression. I was struggling with anxiety, being lethargic, um, slightly overweight. I'm not saying it's all about the food because it's not. You have to move your body. You have to quiet your mind. You have to get rid of your ego and you have to embrace love but nothing has helped me more than than changing what I eat and what I put into my body um, before when I was eating the sad diet pizza burgers junk foods and some vegetables I mean I was never just eating crap 24 7 but definitely ate a lot of pizza, definitely ate a lot of processed foods. As soon as I cut all that out and got to simple foods again, I mean the first week of going vegan for me was this aha moment. Now granted I was coming from eating crap to eating like oatmeal, with raisins and cinnamon in the morning. I would have like a hummus and spinach sandwich with apples for lunch and some rice and tempeh and uh, sauteed veggies for dinner. Um, and I just like stuck to that. I didn't know much about cooking foods. Um, I was never much of a cook, but as soon as I became vegan, I learned really quick. Because you kind of are forced to, there's not, you can't just like go out and buy a lot of pre-made things, or at least back then, it wasn't as available. <clears throat> and you want to make some foods to replace your old staples, you know, your old comfort foods. And, um, and it really helps to look up recipes and make stuff on your own. And so that's what I did. That first week, man, I just, 
I lost like 10 pounds. Um, I mean, I was running every day, like a mile or two, but I lost like 10 pounds and I felt alive for the first time in months. I felt calm for the first time in months. And that was great. When I transitioned to Raw, I mean, it was like I had found this like secret, <laughs> magical elixir of life. I mean, and a, and a lot of my friends who um, who knew me back then and who have seen me go through this transition, um, you know, not all of them, but some of them do kind of <laughs> don't understand, obviously. And they mock it or whatever, and they're like, oh, I'm a fruitarian, I'm so healthy, my life is perfect. It's not about that at all. I think that, I think that like, they're vegans and fruitarians, raw vegans, get a lot of hate because they are so passionate about their, their foods. They are so passionate about the lifestyle. Um, because it's so profound. It's so profoundly powerful to the point where you're looking around and you're seeing all these people with the same problems that you had, the same ways of thinking that you had, the same um, physical problems that you had, and you just want to like share this with them. But it, you learn pretty quickly it doesn't work like that. People don't want to be told what to do and they certainly don't want to be made to feel like their choices are, are wrong or bad or, or anything. So um, the best way to do it is to just lead by example. Just do your thing, stick with it. People will see. the changes, you know, and um, maybe a few of them will get inspired to try it, and maybe one of them, or two of them, or three of them will actually do it, and um, change their lives for the better, change their relationship with the planet for the better, I mean, you know, nothing's ever perfect, like, I bought fruits from a vendor that drove his truck and burned diesel gas to deliver it to me. You know what I mean? But I feel like that's a lot better than a lot of the other foods. When we go to restaurants, when we go and buy packaged foods, a lot of these industries, there's so many wasteful processes involved with the packaging, with sourcing all the different ingredients, there's um, environmental impacts, there's societal impacts, and not to mention it's just dead food. If you're eating death, you know, your body is going to have a hard time feeling alive the way it can and thriving the way it can and, and being able to just wake up every single morning with a abundance of energy and keeping that throughout the day and then going to sleep and having just like the deepest sleeps uninterrupted deep slumber true rest so um yeah super stoked to go to Woodstock Fruit Festival tomorrow follow me on Instagram if you're not already and check out my Insta stories I'll be sharing a lot of you know the festival there and hopefully uh, hopefully we'll meet a lot of cool people and share their stories and um, I just can't wait I can't wait to be surrounded by hundreds of people who are all uh, eating fruit <laughs> all day I mean this is just blowing my mind thinking about it like I I can't even I'm so stoked I'm so stoked um, so uh, if you're going leave me a comment let, let me know and maybe we should link up when we're when we're there um, subscribe to this channel for more videos give it a like if you liked it 
comment down below. Let me know what kind of content you'd like to see, and I hope you all are doing well. Peace out. Ra aloha.